you kids are you ready for our new lesson today we will talk about pictographs simple graphs and tables this time we will do it in taglish For English 3, Quarter 4, Week 4, our lesson is about pictographs, simple graphs, and tables. For most essential learning competencies, interpret pictographs and interpret simple graphs and tables. Tables and graphs are visual representations of data. They are used to show the relationships of information. They are used to compare two or more values in an organized way. Mas mandaling mauunawa ng impormasyon kung ito ay gagamitan ng tables and graphs. In this lesson, you are expected to interpret pictographs, simple graphs, and tables. Here's an example problem. Trina's sister is a baker. She bakes different goodies and sells them to her friends and neighbors. On Mother's Day, she sold different flavors of crinkles. Here is the table of our sample problem. The title of the table is Crinkle Sold on Mother's Day. On the first column, we have the flavors of crinkles. And on the second column, we have the number of boxes sold. So with chocolate, we have 18 boxes sold. With yema, we have 13 boxes sold. Ube, we have 8 boxes sold. Red velvet, we have 15 boxes sold. And buka pandan, we have 15 boxes sold. Let us now interpret the data based on the questions. What is the title of the table? Take a look at our table. The title is Crinkle Sold on Mother's Day. For our task 1, answer the questions based on the table presented. So this is just a continuation of our interpretation. First question, which flavor of crinkles has the most number of boxes sold? When we say most, ito yung pinakamarami. So the answer is chocolate. 18 boxes of chocolates were sold. The second question. Which flavors of crinkles have the same sales? Ito yung may parehas na bilang ng boxes na nabenta. These are red velvet and buko pandan. Both flavors sold 15 boxes. Third question. How many boxes of yema crinkles were sold? Let us look at our table. There were 13 boxes of Yema flavor sold. Next question. Which flavor of crinkles have the least sales? So when we say least, ito yung pinakakaunting na benta. It is the ube. Only 8 boxes of ube were sold. And for our last question, how many boxes of crinkles were sold on Mother's Day? So, ipagsasama-sama lahat ang mga boxes na nabenta dito. 18 plus 13 plus 8 plus 15 plus 15 is equal to 69. 69 boxes were sold on Mother's Day. 
For task 2, study the graph then answer the questions. Write the letter of your answers in your notebook. Here is the problem for task 2. The PE teacher of Sampaguita Elementary School conducted a survey on the favorite sports of the grade 3 students. The teacher asked them to choose only one among the given sports, basketball, running, football, swimming, and tennis. Let us study the data given through a bar graph. This is an example of a bar graph. The title is Favorite Sports of Grade 3 Students. The data written on the x-axis are kinds of sports, while on the y-axis are the numbers of students. 13 students' favorite sports is basketball, while running got 5 students, football got 7, tennis got 8, and swimming got 7 students. Let us now answer the questions. The first question is, what is the title of the graph? A. Favorite sports of grade 3 students B. Number of students C. Kind of sports So based on our graph above, the answer is Letter A. Favorite sports of grade 3 students Second question which is the most favorite sport of the grade 3 students? A. Swimming B. Basketball C. Tennis Again, pag sinabing most, ito yung pinakamarami. The answer is letter B. Basketball Third question, which is the least favorite sport of the grade 3 students? A. Running B. Football C. Tennis Pag sinabi naman nating least, ito yung pinakakaunti. So the correct answer is letter A, running. Fourth question, which two sports have the same results? A, basketball and swimming. B, running and tennis. C, football and swimming. The correct answer is letter C, football and swimming. Fifth question, how many students were asked in the survey? A, 35, B, 37, C, 40. We will be adding number of students in all kinds of sports. We have 13 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 7 with a total of... 40. So the correct answer is letter A, 40. Graphs and tables have a title that tells what the graph or the table is about. It has labels showing the contained data. At yung data na to gives us the clear information about the topic that you are up to. By the way, the graph presented a while ago is what we call the bar graph. We will move on to task 3. Study the pictograph and then answer the following questions. Write your answers in your notebook. Here is the problem. Ramirez family donated face masks to their neighboring barangays as part of their advocacy to prevent the spread of virus. So we will be showing you the data through a pictograph. This pictograph shows the donated face mask of Ramirez family. So as you can see, on the top we have the key. The key means the legend. Our key here is one box is equivalent to 10 boxes of face mask. Again, sa isang picture ng box, ang equivalent ay 10 boxes of face mask. So let us read the data. In Barangay Masagana, we can see 5 boxes of face mask. So since ang legend natin ay sa isang box ay equivalent ng 10 boxes of face mask, so ang Barangay Masagana ay merong 50 boxes of face mask. We will just multiply 5 times 10. In Barangay Pag-asa, we have 4 boxes. So, 4 times 10 equals 40 boxes of face mask. 
and so on. In Barangay Masikap, we have 60 boxes of face mask. Barangay Matulungin, we have 50 boxes of face mask. And Barangay Mapayapa, we have 70 boxes of face mask. Remember class, in interpreting a pictograph, kailangan magbabase tayo sa key or sa legend. Question number one. What is the title of the pictograph? Very good. It is Donated Face Mask of Ramirez Family. Number two. How many barangays received donations of face masks? There were five barangays. Barangay Masagana, Barangay Pag-asa, Barangay Masikap, Barangay Matulungin, at Barangay Mapayapa. Question number three. How many boxes of face mask did Barangay Pag-asa receive? Good job! There are 40 boxes. Fourth question. Which barangay has the highest number of face masks received? Highest means most or pinakamarami. Good job! It is Barangay Mapayapa. Fifth question. How many boxes of face masks did the Ramirez family donate in all? We will just add all the boxes of face mask and multiply it by 10. The correct answer is 270 boxes. So what is a pictograph? Pictograph is a type of graph which uses different pictures in presenting data. It uses symbols or pictures that represent a given number of objects. It uses a key to show what or how much each picture represents. This is a pictograph. We will now proceed to task 4. Study the pictograph and then answer the questions. Write your answers in your notebook. And here's the problem. Sita saves some of her daily allowance to buy a gift for her parents' anniversary. She keeps saving every week for 6 weeks. Here's the sample pictograph of her savings. So our key or legend here is 1 bill is equivalent to 100 pesos. For week 1, Sita saved 200 pesos. Week 2, Sita saved 300 pesos. Week 3, Sita saved 500 pesos. Week 4, Sita saved 300 pesos. Week 5, Sita saved 400 pesos. And week 6, Sita saved 100 pesos. Let us now answer the following questions. Question number 1. What is the title of the pictograph? Very good. Sita's weekly savings. Second question. How much did she save in week 3? Very good. She saved 500 pesos. Number 3. Which weeks did Sita save the same amount of money? So we have week 2 and week 4. Number 4. Which week did she save the highest amount? Good job! It is week 3. Number 5. How much is her total savings for 6 weeks? Very good! She was able to save 1,800 pesos. For task 5, 
Study the given table and make a pictograph of the given data. Write your answers in your notebook. In here, kayo ang gagawa ng pictograph gamit ang data. The farmers of Fernando Farm harvested rice for three days. And here's the data. So the title is Sacks of Rice Harvested in Three Days. So for day one, they harvested 150 sacks. For day two, they harvested 130 sacks. For day three, they harvested 120 sacks. The key or legend to be used is, one sack is equivalent to 10 sacks. Gagawa kayo ng pictograph, ang legend o key sa isang sako ay equivalent sa sampung sako. I will be showing you my sample pictograph. Pero mga bata, gagawa kayo ng pictograph ayon sa inyong sariling interpretasyon. Monday Tuesday and Wednesday and for task 6 complete the paragraph by selecting the appropriate answers from the given choices write your answers in your notebook tables and graphs are visual representation of blank that shows the relationships of information they have blank that tells what the graph or table is about. It has a blank that shows the kind of data presented. Blank is a type of graph that uses symbols or pictures in presenting data. It has a blank that shows how much each symbol stands for. Please like this video, subscribe, and get notified.